Windows 8.1 has two different and unique types of applications or apps that you can use to get things done. One is the Windows Store based apps. The other is desktop apps. Just like their names would suggest, Windows Store apps are distributed through the Windows Store and desktop apps run on the Microsoft Windows desktop. Let's take a look at installing each of these types of applications and how the process is different and what you can do with each of them. Windows Store apps used to be called Metro apps. They're sometimes referred to as the modern UI apps or the Windows 8 apps or the Windows modern app. There's a lot of different names around them. Most of the documentation for Windows 8.1 will refer to them as Windows Store apps. And that's because that's where we go to get them for the most part. Now, before we go into the store, I want to show you that here, if I go in and look at PC settings and accounts, you'll see that the account that I'm using here is linked to my own personal Microsoft account. So when I enter the store, I'm actually going to automatically be logged in to that account because it's part and parcel of doing that. If I, this is the store homepage. And if I go into account and I click on my account, you'll see that it has my information here. It tells me what my balance is, tells me the other computers that are accessing this account. It's all good. Now, if we aren't logged in using a Microsoft account, it looks a little bit different. So I'm gonna switch over to the other user through the magic of technology here and just show you what that looks like. And then we'll come back to this user. So I've switched now to a local user, cleverly enough called local twist user. And this is a local account. It is an administrator on the computer, but it's not linked to a Microsoft account. So if we go into the store and we look at anything uh, on the store that we might want to use, if we go into account, first of all, and click on my account, you'll see that it, there's nothing here. It asks me to sign into the Windows Store. So unlike an account that's linked to a Microsoft login, you have to explicitly uh, choose which account you're going to log into on the store. So if we go out to an app and we'll see if we can find a Microsoft application that might be free, such as the Solitaire Collection, and we click on Install, it's not going to do that until we are logged into the store. Now it's going to ask us to convert this to a Microsoft account, an online account. So we could go ahead and go through all that steps to do this. We might not want to do that. We may want to use a local account for a reason. We may have set up that local account for a specific purpose and not just ignored it. In which case we click down here on sign into each app separately. And then it's prompting us for our Microsoft credentials to log into the store for this particular instance. So in many ways, it's easier to use the Microsoft account uh, linked to a login to Windows, but you can use a local account and still access the store, but just logging in individually each time. All right, now I'm back here logged in as my user account. So I don't have to, my user account that is linked already to a Microsoft account. So I don't need to go out and log into each application individually. So I'm in the store. I have all of my account information. Now there's a few useful things that this gives us. I mentioned that I can see all the other computers that are linked to this account, all the other Windows computers that are linked to this account at least. That means that if I've purchased an application somewhere else on another PC, I can install it here uh, just by clicking on it. So if I go into my apps and this is, this is live, this is my own stuff that I've actually purchased or downloaded. You'll see some third party applications, some freebies, um, all of these sorts of things. And I could pick any one of these and just install them, uh, without paying for them again and just here. So that's one of the advantages of logging in, but let's take a look at, uh, some other apps that we might have available. And I'm going to just search on Microsoft. Can I stay with their general apps? And you'll see that Microsoft, of course, as a publisher, has a large number of applications available. There's all kinds of applications, thousands of them. In fact, you'll see just containing the word Microsoft, there's 999, which I suspect is the biggest that this particular field can display. So there's quite the selection that will just kind of go on and on and on. Now, this is not limited to just applications published by Microsoft. This is anything that refers to Microsoft anywhere in the description. But there are a number here that are available to us. So I'm going to look at the Solitaire collection just because it's a free app and it's from Microsoft. Oh, Solitaire is actually already installed. I guess I'm not going to look at the Solitaire collection. Uh, let's see. Uh, look at Minesweeper. Games are a great example here. So Minesweeper has not yet been installed. It's a Microsoft app. It's a, it's a Windows 8.1 style application or an the older name, a Metro style application. And since I'm already logged in with my account, if I want to install this, all I have to do is click on install. And there it goes. Now, 
it tells me you know, Microsoft is very good at prompting you to make things easier in the future. Uh, it's, it's telling me that I could give it a credit card number to get this free app if I wanted to. Um, but I don't want to. So I'm just going to say no. In fact, on this account, I actually carry a balance that I put on with gift cards. So I don't have to use a credit card. You can use, uh, prepaid cards. You can use credit cards. You can use, uh, points that might have been converted from the old Microsoft point system. And for free apps, you do have to log into an account, but you don't have to have a payment method attached to that account. So you'll see up here that it's installing Microsoft Minesweeper. It's gone ahead and done that. And there we go. Now it's installed. And if I close this window, usually this will change to say open. I'm not sure why it's coming up there as install again, but let's go back out to the screen. Now you'll notice that it has not appeared here on my main start page. One of the things you have to do in in Windows 8.1 is you need to pin it to the start if you want it to appear there. You'll notice in the lower left by my little arrow down to the app screen, it says that three new apps have been installed. And I can see here there are some of them right here. Uh, so here's Minesweeper to launch it. All I have to do is click on it. And there I go. Now it will probably ask me again if I want to sign into Xbox um, because I whether or not I want to have the application access this info. And that's particular to each application because this is part of Xbox games. So it will share it, share that information uh, if you like, or you can just play it without signing in to it at all. So that's all there is to, to getting a, all there is to it, to getting a windows app or windows store app installed. But I want to just go back in here again, and let's go and look at Microsoft office. Now, Office, of course, is a big application, and you'll see here that with each application, there's either the word free or installed or a price. Some of them will have prices. Honest, they will. There's one. So whatever this one is, a guide on getting started, it costs $9.99. But Office doesn't say either free or have a price. Instead, it says desktop app. So the publisher, which in this case is Microsoft, has published it out to the store and met the store requirements for being listed in the store. But if we go to install it, you'll see that it it doesn't have an install link. Instead, it's got a link that says get app from publisher. And this is the case with desktop apps that are available in the store. They won't install directly because they're not going to run in that GUI. They're going to run on the desktop. Now, I actually like this split screen. What it's done is it's brung, brought up the uh, Windows 8.1 Metro view of Explorer and it split the screen. So I still have my store window over here and I automatically have my how to buy office window over here. Of course, you can use Office 365, home or personal. You can look at a one-time purchase or the individual applications. These are all from the website. So of course you would go out and do that. Once installed, you would simply access the desktop and it would appear here. So when talking about desktop applications, I want to show you, oh, they got back here. That's okay. I'm going to go into start and go into the control panel because we want to go into programs and features. And you'll notice that here is a list of programs that are installed in desktop mode on this computer. What you'll notice here is that those Windows Store apps that we've installed are not listed in this view. So we manage desktop applications separately than we manage store apps. So if I decided I didn't need my microphone driver or my camera driver or my uh, Snagit program or whatever it is, I could uh, change or uninstall or remove them here and the desktop. So desktop applications work the way they pretty much always have. One caveat that you want to be aware of, if you're buying a desktop application to run under Windows 8.1, do some homework and make sure that the vendor is is stating that it's compatible with Windows 8.1. Most Windows 7 programs will run fine under Windows 8.1, but there are a few that don't. If you're coming from the world of XP, there are more Windows XP applications that won't run correctly under Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. So just keep an eye out for that when you're looking at desktop applications. One of the advantages of store applications is that they're all tested and they're all vetted to run with Windows 8 kind of out of the box. So you could go down here and you could right click on one of these and you could choose uninstall. And that's how we manage 
the removal of store apps. Instead of going into the control panel, we simply find the app in the start screen or the apps page of the start screen. And then we can choose on this right click to uninstall it and go through the process to remove it that way. Once you've bought a paid, um, once you've bought an app that's a paid app in the store, you can uninstall and reinstall it without paying again. So another nice thing about the store is it keeps track of your purchases and you have access to them should, should you need to reinstall your computer or move things to another PC. So there we have an overview of some ways to look at apps, which are Windows Store apps, as well as applications which run on the desktop, and how you manage them and can use them both in your Windows 8.1 environment.